so hello and welcome back to another banknote video and today we have a 1972 to 74 Australian 20 dollar banknote so when I say 1972 74 usually people say the first year of issue which is 1972 but these were printed to 1974 when they actually removed Commonwealth of Australia and they replaced it with just Australia so this is the Philip and Wheeler and you can get them both in Commonwealth of Australia and Australia. And also, what you'll find is that this has a center thread. So if we put it up to the window, you can see the center thread. So if you fold the banknote, the thread is actually close to the center. And the later banknotes have a thread that is more... Uh, to the side so here's a thread here it's a side thread here's a thread here that's a center thread and this is just a metallic strip obviously they don't issue it in polymer uh, banknotes uh, but paper ones around the world they still use it obviously it's more complicated these days so this one has Sir Charles Kingsford Smith and he was a pilot and he disappeared 1935 I think somewhere around I can't remember, was it Papua New Guinea or I think it's Burma. Okay, so the print of this one from 1966 to 74 is 146,960,000. And you can work out the print. So the first of each signature, because the first serial number for this one is XEV and the last one is XGY. So this is close to the last one. And each of these has 1 million banknotes. So N has 1 million. O has 1 million. So on and so on. So you got 26. Then you times it by... Uh, what was that? Uh, EFG. So then you need to times it by 3. And it will give you the number of banknotes. And I'm not even going to... Uh, that's... 26 million, probably about 100 million, something like that. I'm not even going to do statistics. Okay, so this one's in fine condition. has a lot of uh, creases, a lot of folds on it, but it doesn't have any tears or pinholes. So this side has uh, hard grays. I think it was a, a designer. I need to look that up. Uh, and as you can see, it's got designed for earlier aircraft. So this is for flight. And this side is probably wind patterns, I would say. They probably should have put an aircraft on him on there. Because that's indescriptive. A lot of people were looking at that going, well, I have no idea. Yeah, but considering that he was a pilot, that's what I think it might be. Probably also related to radar and stuff like that. Okay, so what is the value of this banknote? Uh, the catalogue has fine general prefix of $50, but I would say it's probably $30 or $40. Uh, if you want to get one of these in uncirculated, you probably $200, $300. Uh, obviously, the first and last prefix are a lot more. They're about 2 three times the actual value of um, normal prefix so that is basically what you'll be looking for okay so if you get one worse in this condition uh, it's more likely just face value $20 uh, I would probably, probably keep it but inflation will probably destroy its value so would I actually keep this in the future well considering 1972, probably equivalent to about $200 now. And you can only sell it for about $30 or $40. I wouldn't keep this long term. I would keep a uncirculated, or almost uncirculated, and extremely fine. The extremely fine seems to go up by inflation. And the other ones seem to go up more than inflation. Although... You know, you might buy it one year for, I don't know, just say you buy it for $300. And 
next year the price might drop back to 280 because of the market so that's what you need to be careful of anyway that's quite a nice banknote to keep and i'll do two separate videos on the other two 20 dollar banknotes i have on the table anyway like i said thank you very much and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time thank you and goodbye